Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I said last time that this time we were going to do the first of my definitely not connected to my writing type topics um, because that's the direction I'm going to be taking this channel this year. There's going to be some stuff where I will be talking about stuff connected to my writing and there'll be some stuff that'll be just general sort of vloggy kind of stuff. Um, just because why not? <laughs> It's my channel, it's not like there's a whole lot of you out there right now watching it. Um, this might encourage more people to watch it, this might encourage less people to watch it, but it's, you know, I'm doing this for me, so <laughs> why worry? <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> I said last time that this one would be talking about having a day job. So, as most of you probably gathered, this is not what I do full time. And if it was, I would probably be releasing more than one vlog a week. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is not this is not what I do full time, and neither is writing. Unfortunately, I I would love to be writing full time. I mean, it's my my absolute goal, my absolute aim for you know ten years from now, hopefully to be writing full time and not to be needing a day job. Um, but at the moment. I do need a day job and having a day job does make it a lot harder to kind of focus on all the things that you want to be focusing on, um, like the channel and like, you know, advertising my books and writing my books and editing my books and, you know, getting more work out there because that's ultimately what will help hopefully uh, propel my career forward. Um, and when you have to balance all of that secondary job stuff, what I, what you're not getting paid for, with the primary job stuff, the, the day job stuff, which you are getting paid for, um, you, you find that you have very, very little time to sort of do things. <laughs> I mean, I do have time to do things. I do make sure that I do set aside time to, to relax and, you know, take care of my own needs and, and everything else. But it's a very, very difficult juggling game. Um, and... I'm, I'm trying to make sure that one side doesn't suffer too much and the other side doesn't suffer too much, but it's not always easy. It's not always easy trying to to, to balance the, the things that you really want to be doing with the things that you have to do to survive. Um, having said that, I am fortunate enough to be working a job that may not be necessarily the best job in the world, um, but it's a job that I do currently enjoy um, Partly because I like the people that I work with, partly because there are aspects of the job that I particularly like and I, I particularly connect with and I particularly enjoy, partly because it's one of those jobs that can be really stressful when you're on the floor and when you're doing it, but you don't have to think about once once you leave. So once I once I've left my job, that's it, I'm not I'm not thinking about that anymore. I can think about the things that I want to be thinking about. So I can be thinking about things that I can do for this channel, I can be thinking about things that I need to do in terms of editing, in terms of writing, so it's it's a good job for me to have right now. It's not the best job, but it's a good job for me to be having, uh, for me to be doing right now. And the fact that I also enjoy doing it to a to a large extent, it's, it, I think it is to a large extent. I mean, I've had, I've definitely had my moments with it over the years, and a lot of those moments have been connected to where my health has been unfortunately, um, rather than necessarily to, to the job itself, because the job itself hasn't changed much. Yes, a lot of the faces that I work with have changed, and that has, you know, changed the environment a little bit, you know, either for the better or for the worst over the years. Um, but for the most part, the, the job itself has always just been the same. It's been the job. It's, it is what it is, and, you know, there's not much you can do to make it, you know, better or worse than it is. Um, because of the nature of the, the work that I do um but at the same time you know it's it's a job that has given me a lot of freedom in in the fact that I can just switch off from it once I've once I've left it from once I've left the building <laughs> and I've always found that it's one of those kind of jobs that you can go into and you can sort of switch off most of what's going on in your, in your personal life when when you sort of enter in and, and, and you get on with things and I do say 
most of and not all of um because you know you, you the human brain doesn't work quite like that you can't just you know compartmentalize quite that easily especially when it's, it's personal stuff that is going on um and I certainly find it very difficult at the moment to switch off the writer part of my brain whilst I'm in there. Not impossible. But I can find it quite difficult. <laughs> especially, especially if I don't have to interact with customers. Um, then, I, then I do tend to find that I'm, I'm a little bit more on the sort of, I'm just going to think about this plot stuff. As long as I'm getting on with work. Like, and I, I am. I'm not, it's not cutting into the actual work that I'm doing. Um, so I can sort of like be focusing on what I'm actually supposed to be doing and like the right part of my brain can be sort of ticking along. It's, and it ticks along easier if I don't have to interact with people. <laughs> so when I'm doing a task, that means I'm not having to interact with other people, then the right part of my brain can be ticking along. But if I'm doing a task where I have to focus on other people and I have to communicate and, and whatever else, I do try to switch that part off. So I am I'm working whilst I'm in work and I'm a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm not, you know, going in there or dossing around or anything like that. And, you know that, you know that that is something that you know is, has been instilled into me. I do have a good work ethic. I just utilise the fact that the human brain is never ever focused on one task at one any one time. So <laughs> why why wouldn't I split my focus when you know I I can afford to split my focus and then you know try to focus when I need to be focused. It, you know, Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> oh, I really hope nobody I work with is watching this. <laughs> I, I don't daydream whilst I'm whilst I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not concentrating more on the job that I want to do, not the job that I am doing. Um. <clears throat> So I'm not going to say, because I don't think I've ever said specifically where I work um, on this channel, but I do work in fast food, and that is as close as you guys are going to get to where I work. Um, partly because it's not really none of your business. <laughs> and it's not, it's definitely not because I'm ashamed of where I work. I actually, you know, I, I, I'm not necessarily proud. To work for the company that I work for but I'm definitely not ashamed to work for the company that I work for I mean they are a good company and then and as I've definitely I think mentioned in previous vlogs they, they're a company that because I have a strong work ethic despite daydreaming on the job because <laughs> I'm working hard whilst daydreaming on the job <laughs> but because I've got a strong work ethic because I always show up for my shifts you know 99% of the time because you know I'm, when I'm on the floor I'm there to get on with the job. Um, they as a company and as a store have been really good and really accommodating to all my health needs and you know I can't fault the company that I work for and there is a part of me that is definitely proud to work for the company that I work for because there are a lot of companies that probably wouldn't accommodate my needs despite being a hard worker with a good work ethic um so you know i definitely consider myself very fortunate to work for the kind of company that i work for um and the reason i'm not name dropping the the company is because you know being an employee you do kind of have to be a little bit careful about what you're saying about the company that you work for <laughs> when you are on the internet um <clears throat> so that is what, what i'm being if you know who i am then you and you know me personally then you will know what company i'm talking about and if you don't then you won't so yeah um as long as i say mostly positive things i should be fine <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, you know, I'm, I'm at a phase of my life at the moment where I definitely like having a day job as well as doing my writer stuff, or at least I was, I was very much enjoying having a day stuff, day job whilst doing all my writer stuff on the side. Um, and then, a hyena boy kind of happened and then the 
project that I was working on at the end of the last year kind of happened and the project that I'm working on now alongside of editing that other project kind of happened and I've gone from being yeah I can keep doing this day job for however long it takes me to be a writer to oh my god I need to be a writer now <laughs> I, I need to be living off my writing now this is what I want to do for a living um having said that you know as I said I do like my day job I do sort of enjoy doing my day job for the most part um there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with my day job and you know yeah, there are definitely a lot of benefits to doing my day job because as an introvert I wouldn't see and talk to people <laughs> at all <laughs> if it wasn't for my day job <laughs> well outside of family probably so you know there are a lot of benefits for me doing the day job especially you know, since I do enjoy the day job um <clears throat> However, I have, over the last few months, finally kind of reached that phase of, okay, but I'm only doing this for as, however long it takes to, to actually get my writing career started, and I'm now concentrating more seriously on that. And I know I keep saying that this is supposed to be more about focusing on stuff that's nothing to do with my writing, and I keep bringing back the writing. <laughs> I, I think it's just where my brain is at the moment. Um, so the day job. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing my current day job now for about eight and a half years, um, which for some people is a long time to be working in the industry that I'm working in. However, I do, I do work with people who've been working in the industry a lot longer than I have. And I'm also working with a few people likewise who are older than I am. Um, Although I definitely do feel like I am amongst the older staff members now, and I'm not particularly old. So <laughs> I, don't, I like to think that I'm not particularly old. Um, so that that it, it doesn't bother me too much um, because you do get a good age or a good age range mix um, amongst both the older staff that have been working there and the newer staff that have been working there. Um, but at the same time, it, you do you do kind of have those little moments where you do have to kind of laugh. <laughs> you just have to kind of laugh about it because you know it's it's not one of those industries that people expect you to be in for any length of time. And I think it does surprise a lot of people when you say that you have been working there for as long as you have been. Um, and as I said, I you know I know people and I work with people who have been working for the company for a lot longer than I have. So. Eight years, eight and a half years really isn't isn't that, and it, it really isn't anything um, when you look at it like that. But when you're looking at it from you know, the point of view of uh, new starters and, and you know new staff members, then to them it must seem like an awfully long time. And I'm sure they're coming in with the idea that they'll be out of there as soon as they can find something better. Um, and there have been various times over the years where you know I have attempted to look for other things, but there's something about the job. And as I said, it's not a fantastic job and it's not always an easy job. And, you know, certainly when my health has been bad, I've, you know, had serious concerns about whether or not I can keep even doing the job. But there is something in it. There is something in the environment. There is something in the people that we work with. There is something in, sometimes even in the customers. Like, there are certain customers that you, you love to interact with because they're so nice. Um, it just kind of makes the job worth it, um, and worth it in all the right ways. And even though I'm now in a phase in my life where I'm just like, I want my writing career to to take off because I'm absolutely incompetent, certain now that's what I want to be doing with my life. Um, I still really enjoy the day job, um, so I will be really sad when I reach that point where I do have to have to say goodbye and and, and give it up because my writing career has finally taken off. <laughs> so if it does take me a little while to get to that point, I'm not going to be like really miserable about it because, you know, I don't hate my job. Having said that, I do want to be a writer more than anything. So even though at the moment balancing between the day job and all the stuff that I want to be doing, is difficult and it's you know not necessarily always going the way that I want it to. Um, I, it's still 
I'm still doing something with that time that I reasonably enjoy. <laughs> and I'm still, you know, getting a sense of fulfillment out of what is, to a lot of people, a very menial and very boring and very stressful kind of, of job, depending on, you know, the, the situation you're in with it. And, you know, it's, at the end of the day, I think if I disliked my job, I would have left it by now. So I definitely don't dislike my job, um, my day job at all. I just know what I want to do more than my day job, and that is live off of my writing. I just, I just need to figure out a way of getting that. Um, <laughs> and in the meantime, I can continue doing a job that I don't hate. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys have found this one interesting. I know I kept sort of swinging back towards the whole wanting to be a writer for my full-time job. As I'm not sure how much I actually sort of really talked about the whole day job thing. I think part of that's because I've been really careful because, you know, as an employee, you have to be really careful when you're talking about the company that you're working for. Um, but at the end, at, on the other side, Nothing I've said is, you know, genuinely how I feel. I do like my job. I'm not going to say that it's the easiest job in the world. I'm not going to say that I always have fun doing it, but I do like my job. So I've not said anything that isn't true. I've just been very careful about what I have said. <laughs> okay, so next time, um, the topic is home, according to my calendar. Um, I think I know what I mean by that, so it is going to be continuing in the whole, not necessarily talking about my, my writing side of things, um, and it is to do with one of those things that I mentioned at the end of, of last year, um, because I am starting a new journey this year, um, and that journey is hopefully becoming a homeowner by the end of 2019. Um, so yeah, I think, I think my, the, the reason I've picked home as a topic for next week is because it's one of those things where I want to let you guys know where I am with that whole thing. And there'll probably be several topics throughout the year that are to do with, to do with it and my progress and, and how it's going and, and stuff like that. So next week will be the first one of those, um, because it's the beginning of the year and why not? <laughs> Right. Okay, I hope you guys have sort of found this one interesting. I know it's been a little bit all over the place again. Um, I'm trying to sort of settle into this new way of doing things. Uh, so forgive me if a lot of the time I am still trying to tie it back to the writing. Um, I've spent, you know, the last almost two years of vlogging kind of mentally having to tie everything back to, to the writing and, and thinking of topics that kind of relate to the writing. Um, so it might take me a little while kind of getting into the swing of things with non writerly related vlogging. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, just, just bear with me. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully this will be a good year of vlogs. And this is the first kind of official new vlog of 2019. And that's my phone going off in the background if you could hear it. If not, never mind. <laughs> Probably keep this in anyway. Um, okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.